This video will teach you how to access and set up the web controller connected to your SPEC environmental chamber. Different chambers have different types of controllers for adjusting temperature and humidity conditions. It is possible to have a controller and not have a web controller. If you have a web controller, you will have an Ethernet connection labeled web controller on the options panel on the side of your chamber. To assure the web controller is detected and the web controller location can be found, Turn off all the power to the chamber before plugging in the controller ethernet cord. Other SPEC chamber models will have a cap over the ethernet connection that will need to be removed before connecting the network cord. After you plug in the ethernet cord, power the chamber back up. It is recommended that you wait at least five minutes before restarting the chamber. This will assure that the controller is detected and the location can be found. Now you are ready to access the web controller on your computer. There are three different ways to do this. Directly via the IP address, using the web controller's host name, or connecting the Ethernet cord directly from the chamber to the computer. The first method is by connecting directly using the IP address. You can find the IP address by clicking through the on-screen menus on your chamber controller screen as shown for either your Watlow or your P300 controller. You can also use the SBEC web controller locator to find the IP address and that can be downloaded directly from sbec.com and installed onto your computer. The second method is to use the web controller's host name. The host name uses the chamber serial number that is listed on the serial tag on the side of the chamber. If you purchase the web controller separately, use the SBEC default address that is shown at the bottom of the screen. The host name format varies based on your operating system and will include a .local for some systems. The third way, and not recommended, is connecting directly from your computer to the chamber using a crossover cable. This should only be used if you cannot add the web controller to your network. The web controller ships configured to connect via DHCP. If this cannot be done, the web controller will fall back to using the static IP 192.168.083. For this third method, you will need to set up the computer to use a manual static IP address as shown on the screen. On a PC, go to your network and sharing center on your control panel and change your adapter settings by right-clicking on the local area network connection. You select the Internet Protocol version 4 and push the Properties button. This will allow you to manually add the IP address. Now that you have the Web Controller Access Info, open a browser window on your computer and type in either the IP address or the host name and hit Enter. This will start the setup wizard. The default username and password is admin. Later on in the wizard, you'll be prompted to change this default password, which is recommended. After entering the username and password, hit submit and it will continue through the wizard. As you move through the setup, click the buttons in the lower right of the pop-up windows to submit your information. The third section sets up your email addresses and notifications. This allows emails to be sent for any chamber alarms and alerts so you'll know when temperature or humidity changes occur or tests are complete. Section 2 of the setup wizard walks you through the network configuration and should be automatically detected if your controller is set up on the network. If you are using a static IP, you will need to manually add your information and uncheck the DHCP box. Your web controller is now set up and ready for use on your computer. You can easily monitor the conditions, set up programs, and collect data for analysis, all from your PC. If you have any additional questions, please reference your chamber manuals or contact SBEC customer support.